Hello, my name is Jordan Richard. I am from Mission Hills, California. And an interesting fact about me is that I'm a really avid reader, uh, so much so that I can start and finish a novel in a whole day. <laughs> and I have a book collection of about a hundred or so books, and I've read all of them at least three times, if not more. <laughs> so the first monologue I'll be performing is uh, uh, from Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew. It is Kate's monologue. No shame but mine. I must, forsooth, be forced to give my hand opposed against my heart unto a mad brain ruds me full of spleen, who wooed in haste, yet means to wed at leisure. I told you I he was a frantic fool, hiding his bitter jests and blunt behavior. And to be noted for a merry man, he'll woo a thousand point the day of marriage, make feasts, invite friends, proclaim the bands, yet never means to wed where he hath wooed. Now must the world point at poor Katharina and say, lo, there goes mad Petruchio's wife. If it please him, come and marry her. See. <laughs> um, so the next monologue I'll be performing is from At the Bottom of Lake Musula by Ed Monk. You want to help me? Okay, you can help me. My whole family was killed four months ago in a tornado. My mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, and my baby. All dead. And I wasn't there. I didn't want to spend another day with them. So here I am. I have all the money I'll ever need. But all I do is spend all day in stupid classes learning useless information. I don't know why I keep going. I guess I'm hoping I can learn something to make sense of it, but there's nothing. It's all the same. It's junk and a bunch of noise and I pray and I, I don't know, there's this bottle of sleeping pills that they gave me after it happened. And every night I can't get to sleep and I sit there and I think about taking the whole bottle. But that's a sin, isn't it? Isn't it? So I can't do that and I don't know what to do. And I'm going crazy. I, I can't stop thinking about them and everywhere I go something reminds me of them. Why couldn't I have let her have that damn CD player? That's the last thing I ever said to her. So you want to help me? Go ahead and help. You tell me what to do. You tell me what to do. Let's see. Um, I am also a singer, so I will be singing two songs. My first song is my upbeat song. It is from Something Rotten, and it is called Right Hand Man. If you ever got in trouble, I would be there on the double just to bail you out. If there's anything you lack, you know I've always got your back, that's what it's all about. Think of me as your sidekick, helping you whenever I can. I'm more than just a woman, baby, when the pressure's coming, baby, let me be your I am man. If you're ever in a pickle, you can call for me and quick, I'll be how fast I run. You and me should be a team for any dream or any scheme. That's how it should be done. Sure, I could stay in the background, just smiling every now and again. But just to be a pretty lady, that would be a pity, baby. Let me be your right hand man. Uh, the next song I will be performing is my ballad, and it is from the musical 13, and it is called What It Means to Be a Friend. Mm. A friend's not a cheap little phony creep or a jerk trying to make a deal. A friend is the person who most of all cares about what you feel. And nothing is harder than learning a friend isn't real. 
A friend sends notes back and forth all day and doesn't care that you can't spell. A friend knows you've got a crush on your teacher, but a friend would never tell. A friend's outside waiting the minute you both hear the bell. And if your heart is always breaking, cause the world is just not fair. When you're at your worst, your friend's the first one there. Giving you something to lean on, and that's what it means to be a friend. Thank you so much.